Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm actually recording this immediately after recording the previous one, so that's the reason why you'll see me looking exactly the same as I did, you know, in the previous video. But uh, we're going today. We're going to be continuing on creating a Firefox start page, and we got a little bit done in the last video. We got the things created and things experimented on how to get the CSS working and we you know did some bug fixing because I'm a moron and don't know how to do things in CSS I'm just learning you know right at the beginning I will I will reiterate that this is not a tutorial I'm going to make mistakes I'm going to make uh, uh, not necessarily mistakes I will make those but I will also do things in incorrect ways you know that may work but probably aren't the most efficient of ways so this is not a tutorial this is more of a Watch me do things and learn as I go. Maybe you'll learn something kind of video. So, uh, where we left off, this is where what it looks like uh, as of right now. So, there's a couple things I want to get done in this video. I want to center these in the middle of the screen. I want to change the color to the color that I want to have them be. And... I want to put in the links if I can, and, and I want to change the fonts. So the fonts one's probably going to be, the font part is probably going to be the hardest part, um, because you have you have to you have to uh, include the fonts in the header, and then you can call the fonts. It's going to be an interesting thing. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today or not. That might end up being in a part of three of this video, but for sure we're going to get the things centered, change the color so that they're not black on blue and we'll add the links that are we'll at least begin to add the links all right so this is where we've started here oops oh, I'm, I'm still on i3 and I still cannot for the life of me uh, remember my key binding so you'll just have to bear with me um, I, I've been using I, DWM for the last two weeks and I've completely gotten used to a dynamic window manager uh, and all the key bindings that go along with it so we'll just uh, let's see vim, vim index.html okay so this is the code that we have so far so we have a class here uh, of these head one these headers so we should be able to use a center on those. So just um, I'm using the the um, w3schools.com to learn how to do this. So um, let's see. So the display property just displays how an element is displayed. So a bl a block level element always starts on a new line and takes up a full width available. Okay. So inline elements are spans A and images. Display none is a commonly used in JavaScript to hide or show elements without deleting or recreating them. Um, okay, so display doesn't work. I'm looking for height and width, I guess, maybe? Um... See, the height and width properties are used to set the height and width of an element. That makes makes, makes sense. The height, so the height and width isn't going to help. Um, maybe padding? Mm. Padding would only work if you knew the specific uh, dimensions of the container. So there has to be like a center, like a um, margins maybe. Uh, margin might work, um, but there has to be like a center, uh, a center property. Mm. CSS position. The position property specifies the type of positioning method used in an element. That's not going to be it. Damn. I suppose I could probably put this on screen so you could see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. 
So this is what I'm using here. Um, I'm looking for center. Like I want to uh, center something. How align? I bet you. Ah. Uh, so let's see here. To horizontally center a block on a block element like div or h1, just use margin auto. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll try that. Go to four and do um, hmm, margin auto. Okay. Reload. That didn't do anything. It might not do. We might have to uh, reload it completely. No, that did not work. That still shows this here. Okay, um, so margin auto did not work. The element will take up the specify take up the specified width. Um, so we had to put a width there. Okay, so we'll go back here and put width. Width. I'm betting that it won't work in a class. I bet you that's... I mean, we're going to try width, but this is not going to work. Because this is a class, and it says it only works in elements, like div. So we're going to have to create a div. All right, that's what we're going to have to do. All right. So let's get rid of these because we don't need these. And we have to look and see how to create a div. Because um, I don't know how to reference a div in a CSS file. So, um, um, let's use selectors. Example, CSS class selector. Uh, Universal selector is a star grouping selector. Um, okay, that's not it then. Um, do 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 do. These are internalized. That's not gonna be it. Syntax maybe. No. Mm hmm. I could probably search. Combiners. All right, yeah, div. Okay. So the descendant selector. All the following examples selects all the p elements inside the div elements. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna. That actually defines the div elements. So let's search here. This is gonna show everything that has div. Okay. The div tag defines a division or a section of HTML document. The div tag is used as a co container for HTML elements which is then styled with CSH manip or manipulated with JavaScript. The div tag is easily styled by using the class or ID attribute. Oh, okay. So that should be, that should work. All right. I think I got this. I think I got this. Okay. So we'll delete this line here. And so go over here and insert here div. Okay. You're useless. Slash div. Okay. We want to do a class equals. Um, we'll just call this um, main. It doesn't matter what it's called. Okay, save that. Okay, and go over here. Dot main. Squirrely brackets. Uh, margin. Auto. Width. I don't know. Sixty. I think that's the way, way it was. Let's go. Um, see, then we gotta go away. get away from here. Align. Yeah, width 50%. Okay, so 
expect four, 60%. Okay, so that we'll see if that works. All right, so we'll get rid of. We'll go ahead and close this and start up. Start it up again. Okay, that kind of worked. <laughs> it it did something. It moved it all the way over here, but it's kept it at the top. Okay, so that doesn't help me. All right, so uh, damn it, where's the damn thing? Here it is. All right. Center align text. This, so just text align center. That's just to horizontally center a block element in the div. Just use margin auto. What if I want to use so that and again it's centered within the width. So we just I wonder if we erase the width and see if that did that. That should that should um we'll just delete this line here. Okay, and we'll try close this and start up again. That did nothing, so it has to have the width. Okay. Okay. So if we just make this a hundred percent, I wonder. No, that did nothing. We'll see. Yeah. I want to see if it, no, one hundred percent does not work. So it has to be less than this. It has to be less than one hundred percent. Okay. All right. Um. Forty percent. I don't know. We, now we can just do a. Yeah, that's closer. That's closer. Um. And we'll have to see how to vertically. How do you, so we want to margin left, margin right, auto. To center in images, set the number. Um, why don't we just do that? Okay, let's try that. But the width has to be there too. All right, so margin right. Auto margin left auto margin top auto margin bottom auto okay make this thirty percent so that moved it closer to this way. It still didn't move it anywhere down. This is getting a little frustrating. Okay. Left align, left and right align using position. One method for aligning elements is to use position absolute. Absolute position elements are removed from the normal flow and can overlap elements. Using float. Center vertically using padding. There are many ways to center an element vertically in CSS. A simple solution is to use top padding. I'm vertically centered. Uh, I don't get how that's that's just going to move it 70 pixels from the bot the top. That's not actually centering the damn thing. To center both vertically and horizontally, use padding and text align center. Okay. Let's just copy and paste this damn thing and see if it works. Oops. Dumb man. Oops. I used the wrong key button. Okay, so let's de delete these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to give it a green border, but right now I don't care. I just want that to work. Seven. Okay, so that centered it this way. It didn't really center it in the middle of the page. Because <laughs> it just moved it 70 pixels down, like I said it was going to. 
Pen did not work. Okay, so we can close that. Get rid of some of these things. Uh, center vertically using line height. Another trick is to use the line height property with a value that's equal to the height property. Line height, 200 pixels. Height, 200 pixels. They're center ver vertically using position and transform. Position, relative. Transform, that, that's, too, that's done. Using flex. Just note that Flexbox is not supported by IE 10 in earlier versions. I don't care. I'm not I never. I had never used IE 10 in my you know again in my life. If I had. display flex, justify content, center align item, center height 200 pixels, border. Let's well you know what? Fine. Let's give that a try. Keep going. Keep pressing the Alt key. Okay. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, it moved it down a little bit, but I want to move it down here. Why is that so hard? How have we not invented a way to center something just right in the middle of the freaking page? Right. All right. So we're gonna have to just play with that, I guess, until we'll just. Include, so half of a 1080 screen would be 540 pixels. And that just made the, the whole thing, I mean, it's closer. And honestly, we want to, we'll just add some more pixels. Add more pixels. Oh, 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 oh. 940 pixels. There we go. Of course, it leads me to believe that this whole thing is going to be that size. <laughs> Which means I'm not going to be able to put anything in here because it's going to be going to be below it. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright. So, I got it centered. It's not the way it should be centered. Um... Let's see here. He wants you to do it, you know, this way here. If we just use padding and then add that, we should be able to put something underneath it. Keep doing this. Going to the wrong one. Four. All right. Let's delete this shit. Dee 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 dee. And we'll add some, this needs to be more than 70 pixels, make this 300, 4, 570 pixels. And we'll delete the border, because we don't need the border. Ah, that was really hard. <laughs> that was really hard. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't have been hard. But anyways, they're centered. Okay, so now we need to change the color, which should be... Which should be should be simple. So let's go um, seven here. Okay, and these are the colors that I want to use. This one here. Oops. I'm gonna move this over to um, a different monitor so I can see that. And we'll go back over here. Header. We want to do. Um, I wonder if just color would work. Color. Pound E O six C seven five. That didn't do anything. That actually meant it removed the padding. So color, uh, we're going to go color. Boo fonts. Font selection. Um. CSS colors. Here we go. Um, background color? No. C CSS text color. Yeah, it's the way I have it. Color. 
Oh, you want to know? I know exactly what's wrong. Got to remember the semicolon. Look at there. All right. Centered. <laughs> Centered and text changed. Um, even though I don't really need it. Eventually, these are going to go up a little bit higher. So the whole last 20 minutes of me trying to figure out how to center these things. You know, complete waste of time. But I should know how to raise these up by lowering, you know, not as many pixels. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to do is H, so A, okay, href equals HTTP colon backslash Facebook, HTTPS colon backslash Facebook dot com. Okay, I'm just putting this here even though it should be under center. It's under social, which is good. Um, Facebook. Hmm. You wonder what I was trying to do? I was trying to make the damn window bigger. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to give this a class. And. So we want to do, uh, let's see, href. I think the class goes before the href. Class equals link. Okay. Save this. Go this direction here. Go over here. Dot, uh, let's see here, link. Okay. And squirrely brackets. We want to... So link, I think we could do a color. We can at least do the color now. Pound. Uh, let me go here and find what color I want it to be. I want it to be E05. E05. No, e, E5C07B. Okay. And we will... Um, Link is probably going to appear somewhere up here if I'm no, no it appeared in line here because it's because it's inside that div balls. Okay, so we're gonna have to take it outside of the div. Four, damn it, because it's in the main thing here. So we're gonna have to delete this. Okay, and add myself a thing here and P. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. We're going to make this in, into its own div here. Div class equal Okay, so I'm going to change this to an ID and leave this as a link. Oops, not question mark. Sometimes that autocomplete is not the best thing ever. Okay. I'm gonna make, like I said, I'm gonna make this an ID instead of a class. ID equals. And go here, change this to the pound sign. Okay, and then we do a dot link. We should be able to do padding five, like f five, five eighty pixels, zero, quick. and then text align set 
Oops, center. Center mat. Okay, save this. Okay, so go to set, go here and control R. That didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, I don't know why it didn't work. Probably because this has to be a class. All right, let's change this back to a class, and we'll class, and we'll change this to a different name. We'll just call this um, section two. <laughs> I don't know. Dot. I think I forgot to save it. I think that's the reason why that didn't do go through. And now it's not. It's now it's not appearing at all. <laughs> okay, we're winning. We're definitely winning here. And by winning, I mean completely fubbing this up. Section two. Class equals section two link. Let's delete the. You want to? Let's just delete this class for now. Just delete it. Or delete this div. I mean. And we'll delete this too. Okay, and we'll save this. Seven. Control R. Reload. Nope. Not, still not showing up. Okay. And it should. It should. Why? Why wouldn't it? Not seeing any errors. Uh, this is really weird. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Let's think about it for a second. What, you know, let's just make this not a class at all. Just screw it for a second and see where it shows up. It doesn't show up at all. Why doesn't it show up at all? Oh, it does. It just shows up down here. That's weird. Because it's showing up below these. Because it's no longer in that div. Some bitch. But a div can be within a div. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that you can have nested divs. Divs? Divs. Four. Okay. So you want to run it? So what we're going to do is delete this. And... We'll just paste this and make a new div. Div. I'm eventually I'll learn how autocomplete works. Okay. Okay, and this has to have its own class. Class equals link. Okay, and this is probably not going to work, but we're going to find out. Seven. Control R. Well, it moved it up here. It didn't. It's not following the color thing. Maybe the color um, border color color values. Maybe links. But we'd had it colored properly before. I don't remember how. Um, so we got it in the right position. So let, instead of having this have the class link. We'll make this have the class link. That changed the color. Good, now we just need to figure out how to freaking do the positioning. I'm not sure how to do the positioning. 
and I need to move this over here about what would you say is that about 100 pixels 150 pixels <sighs> So this div is going to need a class. Class equals L ls. We're just going to call it ls. Okay. And go over here. Dot ls. Squirrely brackets. Padding. Hmm. From the left. I just want to see if this makes a change. 50 pixels. I'm just saying. Okay. Chances are that's not going to make any change. Oops. That actually did work. It moved it that way. So we need to do padding right. 150, 180 pixels, see what works. Okay. Change this to 150 pixels and change this to the word right. Seven, control R. <laughs> uh, I noticed that the, the color is gone, which is weird. Why did the color go away? We'll worry about that after so we need to add that went about halfway so we make it 300 pixels um judging pixels is really hard okay, so 300 pixels i'm sure there's a way easier way to do this yeah that's close another maybe 10 pixels close enough now we just need to figure out why the color didn't work why well, the color didn't stay? Why didn't the color stay? What if we added the color to the to this class instead? Color pound e this one here. Nope, wrong one. E this one here. Yeah. Oops. That's probably not gonna work. That did not work. Nope. Why didn't why isn't it the color working? Why isn't the color working? That's a little annoying. To be this close to being successful and having it not work. So actually what we need to do is change this class. To social okay because these all these links here are going to be in the social section and then we're going to want another div okay and we want to have this class class equals uh, fanfic okay and we want another div class equals media Okay, and we want another div class equals tools. Okay, um, it still doesn't explain the 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 um. What I'm thinking is move instead of these having their own class or each of these being the same class, we can make these different classes and have them each be the same class as these. The only problem is they have to be different colors. And we know that the class, wait a minute, hold on a second. Maybe the reason why it does, does so, so we need, now we need to change this to be change word social. Okay, and delete this. And we'll make a ID of social color 
e5, this one here. Okay, um, give this an ID of social. ID equals social. That was weird. I think selectors. I'm not sure if that requires a so an ID. Yeah, it requires quotation marks. Okay. So that should work, right? Hmm. Um, paragraph one, yeah. ID equals paragraph one. ID equals social. That should work. Okay, save this. And save this. And go over here. And control R. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> okay, that is where we're going to leave the video. Um, this one wasn't quite as long as the other ones. Um... Um, when I meant it wasn't quite as long, I meant it was actually longer than the last one. Oh, time just flies when you're having fun. Anyways, uh, that is it for us this time. Uh, I will probably make a third video in this series going through and filling out the rest of the links. And then maybe trying to figure out how to put in a, a, a search bar. That's going to be, if you, <laughs> you thought I stumbled over just basic CSS, that this, adding a search bar is going to be way, way worse. Um. That that's just gonna have to wait a bit. I'll have to do some research off air before I do that because I don't want to go into that completely blind like I did this one. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want more Linuxy and open source and now coding content. I suppose this is coding. I mean, <laughs> they're way obviously way better coders than I am. Um, Anyways, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification icon so you don't miss any videos. We have a we just did a podcast, I guess. After this, this will this video will have gone up after we just did a podcast. So you make sure you check out the Linux Cast, which is an awesome podcast available wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.